Hello guys, Silverplay22 here bringing my second video today. I've already done my video on Team of the Season Didier Degas, but now we're going to look at Nicolas Leggero. Now this guy is the Uruguayan right mid, but I've moved him up to a right forward because I felt that's where he would go. I've chucked him into a sort of brazilian Syria hybrid, and yeah... Let's start talking about him already. I really, 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 really enjoyed this guy. What you're going to notice about him as soon as you see the card is that he has very, very low pace for a right mid. He's got 71 pace. That's because he's been moved from a cam. But he is a 74 to a 74. So he has some crazy, crazy stats. He got 18 goals for me in 10 games. Usually I don't play that many games. I usually only play about five. But I just enjoy this guy so much. I wanted to play more. 85,000 was the cheapest on the market at the time and still is, although he doesn't seem to be going in very much demand. He's got some alright physical stats, obviously his balance and agility stand out there, his, his sprint speed and acceleration as you could see on the card aren't great, his, his vision and accelerate, uh, sorry, athletic positioning are pretty good, but it's his skill attributes that make him stand out. 92 curve is amazing, that's maybe even a little bit underrated, his curve was incredible. And then his shot power doesn't look that high, but I felt it was really good in game. He's got high attacking work rate, which is why I decided to play him as a right forward instead of a right mid. I did have one game with him as right mid, but I didn't enjoy him that much there. But as a right forward, he was exceptional. His free kicks, as you're going to see here, were so easy to score. I'm not that good at free kicks, but I had about four free kicks with this guy and I scored every single one. That's how easy it was. This guy's dribbling was as good as anyone I've used. It was as good as Team of the Season Della Few. He obviously isn't as fast, so, you know, it's it's difficult because obviously the faster players look like the better at dribbling. But this guy could weave round players without pace, which I think is, is more impressive than with pace. Now, obviously, a lot of people are going to be turned off by the fact that he is very slow. But he's... In game, he doesn't feel too slow. You can tell he's not a pacey winger, but his agility helps him a bit. But he does, he does kind of feel slow. I think it's fair to say he's not. He, you know, he doesn't feel that much quicker in the game than he does on his cards. Um, I think overall, this guy was just so good. If you can get over the fact that he's not that fast, he is a really, really good player. One of my favourite players from the year, actually. And I've not actually tried the cam version. So a lot of people are saying they wanted him to remain in a cam. But I don't think it was too bad having him at right forward. He, he got his long shots away. His curve was fantastic. So his passing was amazing. He got 10 assists for me in those 10 games. So 10 assists and 18 goals in 10 games. He's just, I mean, I can, you can see the positives and the negatives there. I've given him a 9.2 out of 10, and I, I feel that's, you know, I could have even maybe given him more. And compared to Team of the Season, Didier Degard, wow, the difference. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you need to go and watch the video to check him out. But anyway, guys, go, I'll leave a video link to that video. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.